Hey everybody, Game Time with Kirby here with the four fifth episode? Uh, whatever. So, World 4, 4 1, Orange Ocean 1. So, 4 1, the long ship. So, this level is really hard and annoying. But, um. There's, it's pretty straightforward. So. You just gotta get past these boo buddies in the beginning, and the annoyance or annoyingness will begin once you go down this tube, and the music changes. See, I wasn't kidding. Um, be careful, be really careful safe stating in this level. Any, any safe state that isn't correct will kill you like that I almost saved stated at the wrong place too now the first part the first half is short and slow the second half is fast and long but uh there's not really much to say about it other than you got the boo buddy ceiling and the fishing boo here. Now, hold on. Okay, now, just try and make it past here. The fishing boo will disappear on this fap on this half of the level. But um, on the next half of the level, you'll have to avoid the fishing boo right at the end, right before the goal. So it's really annoying. Yeah, see, so you like right there. And the boo buddies follow you to the floor too, so there's not really any avoiding them. Anyways, anyways, um, we're close to the end of the first half. Almost, I think. Yeah, here we go. So now we come to the second half. We have a medium side scrolling level, boo buddy ceiling, and we have a, f a fishing boo. Now, this is where it starts to get a little bit harder. If you thought that first part was easy, this next part's insane, pretty much. It's really annoying. It's really annoying. Um. Just do your best to avoid the fishing boo's flame and the fishing boo itself. I know it's really hard to do that, but uh, you'll have to you'll have to do that the rest of the level. After this, though, after this, the the level pretty m is is over. Yeah, after this, the level's over. So this next part is a little bit longer. Um, not much to say about it either, other than that it's pretty straightforward, but fairly difficult. Um, now, you'll want the fishing boot to be behind you at the end, so that you can go in the tube. Because the tube is at the top of the ceiling and the fishing boot does not go away this time. So, uh, you'll have to be careful save stating here. Don't save state too late, and don't save state too early, you know? It's one of those things. Because, um, yeah. You'll basically have to, um, you'll have to outthink the fishing boo. Outsmart the fishing boo. Yeah, so, um, just avoid the fishing boo. This level can be very upsetting, especially once you get to the end and you die on the, on the save state. Because, um, it's very possible that that can happen. Yeah, see, so you see, it's starting to get a little bit harder now. It's because we're towards the end. 
Um, not really much to say about this level though. I'm gonna do the orange ocean levels in order, but uh, world four is a little bit shorter. I think it's the shortest world actually. What the heck? Okay, so um, we're getting towards the end here, I believe. I don't remember the patterns at the end, but I think I saw the end. Because I think the end has the whole background filled. No, never mind. Or maybe it doesn't have anything on the background. Yeah, see? Ah, oh, there we go. There we go. I made that look incredibly easy though. But um your first time through you might not make it look so easy. But hold on. Hold on a sec. There we go. Okay. Continue and save. Now the music will stop after this level, but um the music in the levels won't stop. Okay. So you only have... You only have a certain amount of time to beat this level. So... It's best to hurry up. Now, I actually don't know how those... I actually don't know how those, um... Those blue buddies move so fast. You know? I don't know how they move so fast like that. What the heck? You only have like 90 something seconds to beat this level, so... It's not a very long level either. But I tried to make it a little bit easier than the last level. Because the last level was insane. I didn't like the last level at all. I actually got one of my, um... I actually got one of my, um... Deaths there... On, um... On my first playthrough of the game to test it. Okay. Okay, alright. Crap. level um not much to say about this level it's pretty straightforward also as are most of the levels in this game but there are a few that need puzzle solving pretty much but um oh there's the end I didn't know that. There we go. Alright, so that's the level. And, um... Now we'll go to Orange Ocean 3, which is at the bottom. That's Orange Ocean 5. Alright, so, Orange Ocean 3. 3, or 4-3. 4-3, Water World Wonder. Now this is probably my least favorite level, or least favorite world to make. Since I'm not so good at making water levels, you know? This was the first level I put in the World 4. Um, as I mentioned, probably some other place or in another episode, this game went through many phases. And, um, this wasn't 4-3 until the very end of the, of me making the game. Otherwise, this would have been 4-1. Um, I decided to change the, the title screen cards, um, because I thought it would look cooler. And it actually looks pretty cool. I can name them after their worlds, and I can name them at, 
after the levels I named before had the world names. So, um, everything really worked out. But, um, this level you want to go closer to the middle of the screen. Not exactly in the middle because the fish will, um, the fish will kill you if you go in the middle or to the right. So, um, that was four, or that was four dash three. Not too hard, just a short low level. Um, so now this is four dash four, orange version four. Now let's get started. Four dash four, flounder flop. Now this level is a little bit harder. Um, it has the same music and a different background. I didn't know how to insert more than a certain amount of backgrounds. Um, but. You know, it doesn't really matter, since Super Mario World has some pretty good backgrounds, I decided to use some of them. Uh, anyways, now this level you want to avoid the urchins and the fish, and once again, the fish will come flying out of the ground. Be careful not to touch the bottom right there, because there are black piranha points, I don't know if you'll be able to see it after I edit this video. Um, but once again, stay closer to the middle. You do not want to go too far to the left, and you don't want to go too far to the right. So, it's just one of those levels where you can avoid the fish. Now this part, um, uh, I don't know what this part is. Is there anything in this part? Yeah, well there's Torpedo Ted's. Um, this part's fairly easy. So, just avoid the torpedo teds and avoid the fish. Now this part, now this part you want to hit the fish at the top of the ceiling. You can actually get quite a few one-ups here. Uh, I'm not sure how many. See, you get a ton of one-ups. Just be careful not to hit the torpedo teds that come out of the ceiling right there, see? Just make sure you don't get hit by the fish either. There we go. And the fish are gone. And um, we're towards the end of the level now actually. And there's no boss in World 4, there's no castle or anything. So um, we will... Um, we're almost done. It's just this world takes a while because it's the first level and stuff. But, um, other than that, it's not a long world. Not too hard of levels. Just avoid the fish once again. Um, avoid the torpedo teds. Don't get confused between the horizontal and vertical fish and the jumping fish. Um, so this is basically the end of the level. Yeah, there's still, there's still piranha plants at the bottom, so be careful about that. I didn't want anyone swimming under this level, I mean, it's so much fun. Alright. So, there we go, that was World 4-4, I believe. Yeah, 4-4. And, um, oh wow, what the heck? Okay, Orange Ocean 5. Now, this is good because if you if this happens to you, just reset the game and the um the paths will, they will um they will re return to normal. So Orange Ocean 5. 4 5 Hazy Maze Lake. Oh, I hate this level. Okay, just avoid the Rip Van Fish. Make sure that they're completely out of the way. You don't want them to be in the in that little hole right there. Just make sure they. Oh crap! Great. Right when that one fell, it was almost at the bottom. Just had to do that. Great. Okay, just make sure the Rip Fan Fish are avoided. 
Rage, really? Okay, okay. Just don't just fall asleep already. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, because you don't want the Rip Van Fish following you in there. And there goes another Rip Van Fish. Great. I'm gonna get trapped, aren't I? Okay. Um. Another Rip Van Fish can't get you. I think. Yeah, I think it's this one right here. If I remember correctly. Other ones have Rip Van Fish and the other fish in there. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, and then this will happen. But uh, these fish aren't too hard to avoid, of course, because they don't follow you. Um, they just go one direction. Now this this part of the level will sometimes change a little bit. But, um, don't worry about it. It's because certain sprites will get to a certain point, and, um, then they'll overload. Then the sprites won't load. Like this one, I think sometimes there's both of them up. Both of this horizontal fish on it. Now, I think this is the end of the level. Yeah. Okay, so that was World 4, alright. So, um, World 4 is done, and the next video we will be doing the Blast from the Past, World 5, and I'll show you a hint of that right now, since I always have. And then the next video, we will be doing Dreams of Kirby 1. Alright, so, uh, this is Game Time with Kirby, signing out. See ya.